Santa's Grand Tour, Die Große Reise des Nikolaus, by Marlies Klein, translated by Peter Zucker. To my little Reinhardt on his sixth birthday, on December 5, 1957, from his mommy. It's December, feel the cold wind blow, field and forest all covered with snow. At the window, a boy looks out. Tonight's the night that Santa's about. Such a thought should make him glad, but instead his face turns sad. Because his brothers say with a laugh, he's going to hit you with his staff, stuff you in his bag of goods, and drag you off into the woods. Down his cheek flow many a tear. The boy feels anxious and full of fear. Snowflakes dance round in the air. Who comes so fast on the path out there? It's just Big Sister. Oh, happy day. She's coming back from school today. She takes little brother on her knees. You're crying. Tell me, if you please, what's wrong? You're afraid of Santa, right? You think he'll drag you into the night? Listen now to my heavenly story. I'll tell you all. You won't be sorry. Today, good Saint Nick sent out his many helpers here and about, from distant heaven to earth far and wide, because soon it will be Christmas tide. You can easily see that it would be tough, and just one Santa wouldn't be enough. Now in these pictures I will show you how Saint Nick's great tour does go. In the heavenly airport, balloon after balloon, one right after another, and soon you can see how far up in the clouds they go, and the earth fades away so far down below. There goes a white balloon up in the sky, and good old Saint Nick lets out a cry. Tell the children of earth from everywhere that they must be good and grow up to be fair. Then dear old Saint Nick looks back for a while to the elves he sent out, and then, with a smile, thinks of all the trips he's made over five hundred years. In the coldest of winter, he always appears to bring children their gifts all over the earth so that they'll ponder the Christ child's birth. He lived once, Saint Nick, a long time ago, as the Bishop of Myra on the Black Sea, you know. He loves all the children and taught them to pray and worship our Lord God in the right way. The big white balloon flies hither and yon with the wind through the clouds and beyond. In the basket is Santa in his red suit. His donkey peers over the edge and is mute. Quite some time he peers into the depths below. Then he cries, and the donkey moves with a start. Look there, little donkey, we're over our land, our countryside, towns, our own Switzerland. There the mountain tops sparkle so white under the rays of morning sunlight, and quietly nestled among rocks, ice, and snow lies the big pond way down below. Old Santa looks out, and sometimes he reads from his weighty book of bad deeds. That is surely a heavy old tome he brings along as he visits each home. Hey, how did the wind propel us so fast? I do believe the hills we've surpassed. Deep in the valley, down below, he sees the broad river's current flow. And the old one, with a delighted shiver, bends out to look at bridge and river. The whole valley's covered in snow everywhere. The waterfall sparkles like silvery hair. He spent a long time in his balloon in the sky, watching from his basket as the clouds rolled on by. O'er cities and hamlets our Santa flew, Castles and churches, he saw them all, too. From on high, 
he lost track of time's rapid flight, but looked down and said, Soon the time will be right. Misty-eyed, Santa bent down for a look in the valley. See, donkey, our houses, the brook? There's your stable and the forest and fields. It's where we've lived our whole lives on earth down there. Full of joy, old Saint Nick dumps out a bag of chocolate coins all about. This bag of chocolate never goes bare. How many coins can there possibly be in there? From down below, you can hear the kids squeal. Such a rain of good things has great appeal. In the distance, a lake seems to glow. The meadows and rooftops all white with snow. He looks at the compass, then the clock to be sure. Twenty minutes to go before winter tour. Finally, their house in the wood becomes clear. Santa stays in the house when he comes here each year. Here the balloon now comes in for a landing, right near where the good forest woman is standing. The forest woman's made the place all nice and warm, and brought coffee and bread, which is fresh from the farm. And she didn't forget to lay some oats at the feet of the donkey who also needed something to eat.